Hey you guys and welcome to my January favorite. I feel like January took forever. It just seemed to drag on and on. I'm so glad it is almost over. I'm filming this a little bit earlier than I normally would. It's only January 25th right now so not really the end of the month yet. Just felt like it took forever to get here. It's just a long, long month. So I do have a lot of favorites to share with you today and a lot of them are actually not makeup. I've, I've noticed that lately my monthly favorites have been really branching out to like non-makeup products. I haven't been really loving a lot of makeup products lately, at least no new ones. I don't wanna always talk about the same products over and over again. So that's why I feel like there's been a lack of makeup products in my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching and let's go ahead and get started. The weather is being really weird right, right now. It's like cloudy over all the way at the mountains, but then right in front of me, it's like sunny. So I don't know, the weather is being weird. I do feel like I'm a little washed out in the video today. Hopefully it's not too washed out for you guys. Okay, I wanna start off with a product that I brought in from my kitchen. And this is my first favorite. This is my new French press. I got it from my sister and her boyfriend for Christmas. I've been really liking it because I had a lot of loose leaf tea that I wasn't using because I never wanted to make a full pot of tea. All that tea was just sitting in my drawer, but now that I have a French press, I can actually use my loose leaf tea. If you guys haven't tried a French press, I would definitely recommend it. It's super ideal for people that live alone because you really don't have to make either a full pot of coffee, you don't have to make a full pot of tea, you can just use this little guy and you will have a steaming cup of tea or coffee ready for you. Thank you to Karina and Joey for getting it for me. I really like it. And then I also wanted to talk about my new blender. Karina also gave me a blender for Christmas and I've been eating smoothies for breakfast the entire month. And all of my smoothies have been green so far. I really like green smoothies because you don't taste the green vegetables. Like I throw in so much kale and I throw in broccoli, throw in spinach, and you really cannot taste the vegetables. My sister got it from Superstore, so I'll try and include like a picture of the blender. I don't know the exact model off the top of my head, but it's the President's Choice blender and I will include a picture here so you guys can see it. I really like it. It's been so much fun drinking smoothies and making them and trying different combinations. If you have any good combinations of green smoothies, please leave them in the description bar. I am always on the hunt for new ones. Next favorite is my new agenda. I love this agenda. I'm so excited for it. It looks like this. I think actually I showed it to you guys in my Makeup Mugs and More video. I think I showed it to you there. I got it from Chapters. The coils are rose gold, the writing's rose gold. It's like a galaxy themed agenda. It says on the front, a certain darkness is needed to see the brightest stars. I don't know, it's kind of like a cheesy quote, but I really liked it. I'm really into galaxies these days. I've always been into like stars and space and stuff like that, but lately it's just been really coming out. It's just a 12 month agenda, which is good. My last one was 17 months and I didn't even use the first five months. So I'm kind of glad this is the 12 month one. It doesn't have the most space. It is a little bit like smaller. You get like your main spread with like the calendar drawn out, but you don't get a lot of space in the actual pages to write things. I like write, oh, it's all washed out. You basically get like this much per day, which isn't like a lot of space. It's not the most ideal for me because I write all my to-do lists on these days and I usually have quite a few things to do. Or at least I like writing down things to do a lot. I'm a big fan of to-do lists, but I feel like there's not a ton of space in here. I really like it and I've been really enjoying it. I love agendas. Then I wanted to share with you guys that this, I've really been loving this. This is my five-year memory book. I also showed this to you guys, I think in my last video as well. It is basically a one line a day book. It's squishy and it's beautiful and it's small. Each page represents one day of the year. So for instance, this is January 26th and then you have a little section for the next five years in a row. So for 2019, I'm just writing in the top section for each page. You can just write down whatever you want, whatever you're thinking. You can write down what you did that day. It's really cool. I think it's going to be a lot of fun once like I get through an entire year and I'm on to the second year. I mean, the first year isn't really that fun because you can't, you don't have anything to look back at, but I feel like as the years go by, this is gonna be super fun. And I also like that I started it now because I'm 25 and then by the time we get to 2023, I'll be 30, which is, I think I'll be 30. Well, I'll be 29 
in 2023, but I'll be turning 30. I also got this from Chapters, by the way. I think they sell it like all the time. It's not like a seasonal thing, so you can get it whenever you want. Moving on to some makeup products. The first makeup product that I've been really loving is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. I don't know why I haven't really reached for this product since I showed it in my e.l.f. Brand Slam week, but I started reaching for it again and I really like it. It's such a nice formula for bronzer. It's very smooth, it's very buttery, it's a little bit warmer than what I'm used to, but I still like the way it looks on my skin. It blends really nicely into your skin. It's a pretty shade as well. It's called Perpetually Tan. I've been wearing it every day for like the last month and yeah. I love it, so I wanted to talk about it. Two lipsticks to share with you. The first one is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. It, it looks a little pink right now because I was lip swatching and the I used this bright pink shade and it really stained my lips. It's the Maybelline Shine Compulsion Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Lust. It's a really pretty, shiny, warm, nude. I love it. It's such a comfortable formula. It doesn't dry up my lips. It feels really nice and I've been loving it in the winter. I like shiny lips in the winter. I think they make your lips look really healthy, especially when your lips start cracking and drying out. Love it. Love this color. I want to pick up more of these, but I just keep forgetting to get some. And the last product, makeup product is the L'Oreal Signature Rouge Matte Lipstick. It's in the shade I Explore. These were the lipsticks that I was swatching in a video earlier. And this one is my favorite shade from the ones that I've tried. It's pretty much the same color actually as Shine Compulsion, but it dries down matte and it's kind of like a blotted formula. I've been really liking the shade. I've been wearing it to work a lot. It doesn't last the longest, but I like the way it looks on my lips. It's kind of that perfect everyday lip color for me. When you put this on, it feels like nothing on your lips. It feels like you're wearing nothing but then you look in the mirror and you're like, whoa, I'm wearing a lipstick today. I really like the formula and I wanted to talk about this shade because it's my favorite one from this collection that I've tried. I'm speeding through this video. I'm sorry if it sounds rushed because my camera is about to die. Battery bar is blinking at me, so I gotta wrap this up fast. The last product is something I talked about last month, but I finished it now. And this is The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. I finally finished it. I love this book. It's so good. I want to just come in and tell you guys that I really like it. I actually want to read it again. I feel like it's a book that you need to read twice to really understand it. I think it's very good for people that are going through a quarter life crisis. I think this book is definitely for someone that is going through a lot of changes in their life. I don't know, midlife crisis, quarter life crisis. All the younger daughters in the book, they're around their like mid thirties and they're kind of going through big changes in their lives. Definitely good for people that are experiencing that kind of thing. Wanted to come on and tell you guys that I love it. Would highly recommend The Joy Luck Club. Anyway, that completes this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a great January. I also wanted to just quickly say that I'm gonna be starting foundation February next month. So all of my videos in the month of February will be foundation videos. I'm gonna try and put out at least 10 or 11 videos for you guys throughout the month. If there's any videos that you would like to see on a particular foundation, drugstore only, please let me know. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!